This is the secret world of magnets and their hold on our fragile modern age. We do not see them, yet they guide our every step. They hide inside our phones, whisper through our music, drive our cars, and carry power across vast landscapes. Without them, the lights would dim, the engines would stall, and the silence would be absolute. They are both ordinary and mysterious, woven into the fabric of modern life. So deeply we forget they are there at all. But remove them, even for a moment, and the world as we know it would collapse. Surrounded by magnets. Magnets are everywhere, even when you don't notice them. Take apart a phone and you'll find them hidden in the speaker, the microphone, the camera lens, even in the tiny motor that makes it vibrate. Open a laptop or a hard drive and you'll see the same story. The digital world depends on small pieces of metal that quietly hold and move invisible fields. In cars, they spin inside electric motors. In headphones, they push sound into your ears. Even on circuit boards, tiny fragments of magnetic material keep signals steady. Without them, there is no sound, no image, no motion. What makes them strange is the way they behave. They seem to resist control, sliding and snapping together with a will of their own. People who study them often describe them almost like living things. Silent, invisible, and full of surprises, magnets form a hidden skeleton beneath the skin of modern life. Permanent magnets. Not all magnets are the same. Some only come alive when electricity runs through them. These are electromagnets, and they lose their pull as soon as the current stops. But others are different. They hold their strength without help, steady and constant. These are permanent magnets. Permanent magnets are the quiet workhorses of our age. They sit inside machines, keeping their power day after day. They are not switched on or off. They simply exist always ready. That reliability makes them priceless. They shape the motors that drive electric cars. They sit at the heart of wind turbines. They live inside microphones, speakers, and medical devices. Without them, much of what we call clean energy would vanish. To hold such force in a piece of metal is still something close to magic. And yet, we depend on this magic more than we dare to admit. How magnets power EVs and wind. Magnets are not just hidden inside gadgets. They are the beating heart of new machines that promise to change the way we live. Take the motor of an electric car. Electricity flows into a shaft, creating a magnetic field. Alone, that field does nothing but place strong permanent magnets around it, and the fields begin to push and pull against each other. The shaft turns, the wheels spin, and the car moves forward in silence. Now picture a wind turbine. Here, the story runs in reverse. The blades turn with the wind, and a magnet spins inside a coil of wire. As the magnetic field cuts through the wire, electricity is born. The air itself becomes power, flowing into the grid. It is a simple dance of invisible forces. Push becomes motion. Motion becomes current. These unseen interactions are what drive the clean energy revolution. Without them, the dream of leaving fossil fuels behind would collapse. The rare earth problem. The story of magnets has a shadow. Most of the strongest permanent magnets rely on rare earth metals, especially neodymium. These elements are not truly rare, but they are scattered thinly through the earth. Mining them is costly, and refining them is even harder. Over decades, one country has built almost the entire supply chain, 
Today, more than 90% of the world's rare earth magnets come from China. From mining to processing to finished products, the system is deeply rooted there. For the rest of the world, that dependence creates a dangerous weakness. In 2010, this became clear. A dispute between Japan and China led to reports that China would cut off rare earth exports. Prices spiked overnight, and industries trembled. Electronics, cars, and clean energy all depend on those materials. Energy security is no longer only about oil or gas. It is also about metals buried in the ground. Whoever controls them holds silent power over the machines of the future. Europe's struggle. Across Europe, leaders are waking up to this new kind of dependence. They see the risk of relying almost entirely on another country for rare earth supply. In Norway, survey teams are drilling into the ground, searching for deposits of neodymium and other valuable elements. Their findings suggest one of the largest untapped reserves on the continent. For Europe, it could be a lifeline. Yet, the path from discovery to production is long. Opening a mine is never simple. There are environmental concerns, long legal battles, and the staggering cost. Early estimates speak of billions of euros and more than a decade before meaningful output begins. Meanwhile, the demand keeps growing. Electric vehicles roll onto roads. Wind turbines rise along coastlines. Each one needs magnets that Europe cannot yet make on its own. The urgency is clear, but the solutions are slow. Between dependence and delay, Europe feels the heavy weight of the magnet problem. A scientific breakthrough. While governments wrestle with supply chains, scientists search for another way. At the University of Minnesota, a researcher named Jian Ping Wang devoted decades of his life to a daring idea. Instead of relying on rare earths, he turned to two of the most common elements on Earth, iron and nitrogen. On paper, their combination could form a powerful magnetic material. In practice, it was a puzzle that scared many away. The structure was unstable, the process unpredictable. Most researchers believed it was too difficult to master. Wang refused to walk away. Year after year, he built machines with his students, testing, failing, starting again. His persistence gave birth to a company called Nyron Magnetics. At first, the results were far from perfect. The new magnets could not match the strength of neodymium. Investors were skeptical. Yet something about the vision struck a chord. Funding arrived, and the work continued. The dream was simple, but bold. To create magnets that freed the world from dependence, and did so with materials found almost everywhere. From rust to magnet. The path from idea to working magnet was not smooth. Wang and his team had to start with something as ordinary as rust, tiny particles of iron oxide. At first, these powders showed little promise. They were weak, barely magnetic at all. But with the right treatment, the structure could be changed. By introducing nitrogen, those dull particles began to transform into iron nitride, a new material with surprising power. The process required patience and precision. The particles needed to align like soldiers, forming chains that could later be pressed into magnets. Each step felt fragile, as if the whole effort might fall apart. But when the team succeeded, the difference was visible. The powder was no longer lifeless. It pulled and pushed with real force. Their first public demonstration was small, but symbolic. They placed the new magnets into audio devices, even electric guitars. It was proof that something once dismissed as impossible could sing. Clean energy dreams. The promise of these new magnets stretches far beyond music. Car companies quickly noticed. Giants like General Motors and Stellantis 
invested millions, hoping iron nitride could one day power their fleets of electric vehicles. Wind turbine makers showed interest, too. If these magnets could scale, they might loosen the world's dependence on rare earths and cut costs at the same time. But the journey is far from finished. One weakness remains. Iron nitride does not always hold its strength when surrounded by other magnetic fields. In motors, where fields collide and shift constantly, this flaw can be fatal. The scientists at Niron continue to refine their process, searching for ways to toughen the material. The potential reward is huge. A magnet strong enough, stable enough, and cheap enough to transform clean energy technologies. The path is uncertain, but the vision remains bright. If they succeed, the quiet pull of magnets could reshape the race against climate change. Cosmic Magnets Magnets are not only engines of daily life, they are also keys to the most ambitious dream in science. Nuclear Fusion Fusion is the reaction of the stars, the force that makes the sun burn. To recreate it on Earth, scientists build machines called tokamaks, vast rings lined with magnets. Inside, hydrogen gas is heated until it becomes plasma, hotter than the core of the sun. Without control, the plasma would scatter in an instant. But magnets can hold it steady, wrapping it in invisible fields like hands cupping fire. The challenge has always been the magnets themselves. Early tokamaks used copper coils, strong but wasteful. They devoured more electricity than the reactor could ever produce, leaving fusion forever just out of reach. Then came superconductors, materials that carry current without resistance. With them, magnets could stay powerful without bleeding energy away. Yet these first superconductors demanded extreme cold, colder than outer space. Machines grew vast and expensive, like the ITER reactor in France, projected to cost tens of billions. Hope shifted again with high-temperature superconductors, delicate ribbons that could work at more practical levels. With them, magnets might finally become strong enough and small enough to bring the power of a star down to Earth. Magnets are silent companions, holding together the threads of our modern age. They sit unseen in our pockets, our homes, our cars, and even in the machines that may one day power the world with the energy of the stars. Their story is not finished. Each discovery reshapes what they can do, and each breakthrough carries us closer to a future less bound by fuel and fear. We take them for granted, yet they carry immense weight. Invisible, tireless, and full of mystery, magnets remind us that sometimes the quietest forces change everything.